Hey, so today we're going to be looking at building a uh, validation website for your um, software idea or your startup idea. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because, you know, when you have a new idea, you're not sure if anyone actually wants to, if anyone thinks it's a good idea or anyone's going to use it. So you're trying to put something up online that explains the value proposition of what you're building and then you send it out to people and you see, does anyone actually think this is a good idea? If a lot of people think it's a good idea, um, people sign up to the mailing list or whatever, then you can build it. Um, and if no one, then no harm done. You haven't spent too much time making it. So I'm going to be using uh, slingcode.net here to the editor I built, uh, browser-based editor for, use it for building this. And um, we're going to look at mvp.css. So if you just uh, search for mvp.css, you can find this um, CSS uh, style sheet by Andy Brewer. As it says, it's a minimal style sheet for HTML elements. So all you've got to do is just build your page with basic structure. And in fact, we can just copy the one that they start with to uh, get a head start. So what we're going to do is um, create a new project here in Sling Code. So uh, down here in the plus button, we're going to say new app, new app. And then uh, in our actual code, we can say we can just save it for the first time and run it next to the code. And we just see our hello world here. Yes, this is our basic project. Now what we're going to do is go back to mvp.css. If you've already got some HTML um, set up, you can just copy this uh, link here and paste it into the header of your file. Uh, but what we're going to do is use their boilerplate that it comes with. So this page here is actually made from the boilerplate. Um, but we're just going to open that one in a new tab and do view source, view page source. And we're going to control A to select all that, control C to copy it, or alt C if you're on a Mac. Um, and then in sling code, we're just going to paste that in. So we get all that code in our editor here. I'm going to delete this little comment at the start and hit save. Now it's not styled yet. Um, so this is what the default HTML looks like. Um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty standard, pretty, pretty ugly to begin with. Uh, so we're going to go to back to the MVP CSS page and we're just going to copy this link here and paste that into the header. Um, we'll actually replace the one they've got. They've got a relative reference here with dot slash mvp.css. So we're going to replace that, hit save, and there we go. We get a nicely styled basic page. Um, yeah, so we can start customizing this to turn it into our landing page for our um, startup idea or our app idea that we want to tell people about. So. The menu up here, we can change that. Um, this is in these in the nav section in the li tags. Um, let's change this one to say pricing, and the second one to page to say about. And then this third one to say sign up. There we go. When we hit save, we see that pricing about sign up. This logo here, they've just used a placeholder. We can. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to. We'll get a temporary logo from Font Awesome. So we'll go font awesome PNG um, and actually I'm just going to find the font awesome GitHub. Uh, here we go. This guy, uh, these, this project here is uh, all of the font awesome icons rendered as SVG and PNG. Um, so let's get a, a nice icon here in, in the PNG folder. We'll get something about 64 pixels. And let's find something like uh, bicycle. So we're just going to right click, copy image address, and replace. We want this logo to be replaced. So uh, where are we? Here we go. It's in the, the top section here of the nav. So we'll say image source equals that and save it. We get our nice little bicycle here, and we might want to say um, Bike World. This is the name of our app. So our MVP app is going to be called Bike World or whatever. Yikes, that looks horrible. All right, we won't put the word in there. But you could you could style that so that it looked like it was part of the logo. 
Um, and then you're just going to go down here and in the in the uh, heading, you're going to change that one to say Bike World. And your second heading here, what you want to do is, you know, uh, explain the value proposition of what you're making. So we're going to say the Uber of bike purchases, something like that. So this is what Bike World is. So this is the value proposition. Now. Further down, you've got these other sections. You've got a section, section subheading, card heading. So you can write stuff in here about, you know, explaining what it is, or even just get rid of this section entirely. And in the next section, you've got this kind of like quote. So you might want to put in a quote here, or somewhat some cool bike person. And then, yeah, actually that's the wrong way around. So it'd be like some cool bike quote. Anyway, you get the idea. You can uh, just customize this whole page and then um, change these links here so that it's like find out more and change this bold button here to say like uh, get it now. So that would be a link to the app in the app store or whatever. And then you can see we've sort of created this uh, bike world um, MVP page, which you could then, you know, you would get in, in here you would put in your, um, rather than having, well somewhere down here you would want to have some kind of an email sign up. So your MailChimp um, widget, you could paste that in here. So just after this bit, like put in a thing like MailChimp widget here. And uh, yeah, so when you do that, your, your MailChimp widget would sign up there. And if someone likes the proposition of what you're talking about, they like the app, they can put in their mail, uh, put in their email address here. And uh, when you actually build the thing, if you get enough email addresses, it's like, okay, so enough people like it where maybe I should build this thing. And then you build it and then you send out a mail to them saying, right, it's built. Um, another cool thing you can do with this MVP uh, CSS is it's quite easy to customize. So if you don't like this default uh, black on white look, um, you, can, uh, you can change the styles quite easily by overriding some CSS variables. If you go to mvp.css and scroll right down to near the bottom, there's this modifying the CSS variable section. Um, and you can just copy that. So you've got this nice little block of CSS variables. And uh, in your editor, go, you know, create a new file, style.css. And we're just going to paste that in there. Of course, to begin with, it won't do anything because these are the default styles. Um, but I'll show you customize them in one sec. But first we have to link the style sheet in itself. So we're gonna say link rel equals style sheet and href equals style.css. Um, yeah, so this doesn't do anything at the moment, but as you change stuff, so if we change color background here to be like red, then we get a nice horrific red background. Uh, however, we can um, make that a bit nicer. So let's make it a gray background. Let's make the font here be like uh, Korea monospace. So we're going to make like a techie style site. And then this, you know, this, this purple here is um, quite awful. So we're going to change that to be more of a green. Um, I just moved some of those uh, hex numbers around to do that. Um, and we can change these button colors as well to be uh, to be a bit nicer. So they are this accent color here, I believe. So let's make it more of a green by just swapping these two hex pairs. Here we go, in a nice uh, green color. And let's make our text color be closer to white because we've got a dark background. And actually, this bike here we can fairly easily change that to be white by going here into the um, back to where we got it from and changing the word black to white there and then copy image address and paste it in here because we've got a dark background now and now we've got a little white bike there so yeah that's uh, that's as you can see it's quite easy to customize this mvp.css to really uh, brand it to your own kind of thing. Um, we can delete that to see how it was before and then put it back. 
Um, you can even do things like the border radius here if you wanted to have like a harder radius on the borders here. So yeah, and then uh, you, you take your MVP, put it up online, send it out to people, see if there's any interest in what you're building. So it's a good way to validate um, your uh, software idea or your app or your startup before you actually build anything and find out if anyone actually thinks it's a good idea. Um, yeah, I hope this has been useful for you. Thanks very much for watching.